Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to put together this Drail Smart Fan. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the box. First, we're going to need this bolt, this washer, and we're going to put the base on the unit. Take note of this notch, because on the fan itself, there's this notch. Line those two up. Okay, then put the washer and the bolt, and you're going to tighten down that bolt. Okay, so we do have this power supply. You're going to plug this power supply into the wall. The cord is six feet long. Then you're going to plug the other end of it right there. Now the power supply does have input 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1 amp. Output is 24 volts, 1.5 amp. Now I do have an adjustment here. I can raise this. So loosen this up and I can raise this up right about there. Tighten it down or I can put it anywhere in between there. Okay, here's the remote. Make sure you remove this to activate the battery. Okay, with it on the floor, all the way raised up, the center of it is about 36 inches, the top of it's about 44. Now we do have buttons up here that we can press, but I like using the remote. So these, this is the fan speed, all the way up to eight. Eight is very powerful. One, you can barely hear it. This is how far it rotates left or right. 60 degrees, 90 degrees, or 120 degrees. Now up, down, oscillating is only one. We got automatic off, we got turbo mode. We can also connect this to our smartphone. Now we do have a display down here that's gonna kinda of tell us what's going on. Now, this fan is really cool, so let's turn it on. Now let's, we can go left to right only. So I can push this button. Right now I've got it going up, down also. We can stop the left to right. So it just goes up, down. I've never seen a fan just go up and down, up and down. And again, I can change the speed There's eight, eight's the max. If you keep going past eight, it just goes back to one. One is very quiet, but it actually moves a lot of air. Now I got different modes of left to right. So let's press. They're a little hard to see as I cycle through them on this. That's 60. Okay, so the nice thing about this is, so I had it going up, down. And wherever I stop it, um, that's where it stops. So if you want it in a certain position, that's how to do that. So then I could just have it go left to right only, but I can do left to right and up down. That's a pretty neat type of fan that can it can swivel up, down, and left, right. And it's very powerful. Let's turn it up. You know, and it's pretty stable, too. But as you can see, it's going to go all the way to a 90 degree up. Huh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's open the app. So here's how it talks about the different modes. You got normal mode, auto mode, turbo mode, natural mode. I don't think I have it on this one. Sleep mode. Yeah, this one just has a timer mode. How many hours it's gonna stay on and then turn off. I can go all the way up to eight hours and then it'll turn off, one to eight hours. Okay, so I will have to log in and create an account. Okay, so logging in didn't take too long. I'm gonna click add device. Okay, so to put this in pairing, we gotta hold this for five seconds. Okay, that light came on. The Wi-Fi light. Okay, so I gave it permissions. Now it's scanning. It did find it. found it really quick. Next, while using the app. There's my Wi-Fi, so now i got to give it the password. Okay, so it's connecting to the device. Okay, looks like it's done. Tap device image to control. Oh, it's kind of like a step through. All right, there it is. Okay, so this is really nice. Being able to use your app. Um, wow. You can do all kinds of stuff. Go right to turbo. And the fan went right to turbo, custom. Wow, lots of different features. You can turn the panel sound on and off. You got child lock, oscillation calibration, 
You can turn the oscillating on and off. It's a lot easier. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we do have sleep mode, looks like. Natural, auto, normal. Just ramp the fan up like this. Oh, this is a cool feature. So if you turn these off, I can like remotely control the fan. Press the button, like if I want to, I want to pinpoint the fan right on me. Point it down. Wow, that's pretty cool. It even tells me what the temperature of my house air is right now. I can turn it off. So if I want to turn it back on. Uh, that's pretty neat. I didn't think I was going to like connecting a fan to an app, but that's a really cool app. This is a really cool fan also. I, again, I've never seen a fan that does everything that this one does. It's super quiet, moves a lot of air, and then when you ramp it up, it can move a lot of air. It's a little noisier. Yeah, I'm very happy with this fan. I hope this video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.